Hey guys, it's Jess, and today I'm going to show you how I do my front braid, which looks like this. I think it's a really cute hairstyle you can do because it looks like you put a lot of effort into it, but it's really quite simple. Um, it's great if you want to get, you know, your fringe out of your eyes or if your fringe is too long and getting in the way of your face. It's also great, you know, for like the day after you wash your hair where your hair starting to get a little bit oily. This style really helps to disguise that. So yeah, if you want to see how I do it, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is part your hair on the side. Um, my hair is already naturally parted on the side, but I'm just going to make it a little bit deeper and neater. So just grabbing my finger, and I'm going to take some more hair like so, and then just grab your comb and comb it through. Next, you're going to section off the part that you're going to use for the braid. So about halfway down your part, I'm just going to grab my finger, bringing it all the way down to my ear, like so, and then just putting that back part behind my ear so it separates. And then I'm left with my fringe and some hair if I wanted to extend the braid all the way down. Then grab a centimeter, centimeter and a half thick portion of hair, like so. And then I'm going to split that into three portions. So portion one, furthest away from your forehead. Portion two, in the middle. And then portion three, closest to your forehead. So you want to try to keep portions one and two in your right hand. And then portion three in your left hand. Because that's the one that we're pretty much going to be working with the most. So with portion one, grab it. And we're going to fold it into the middle of portions two and three. And then with portion three... We're going to fold that into the middle of one and two. So you've got three new portions, but still one furthest away from your forehead, one in the middle, and one closest to your forehead. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. You want to take portion one, slide it into the middle of portion two and three, like so. And then with portion 3, instead of folding that back into portion 1 and 2, like we did previously, you're going to grab some hair from your fringe. Basically doubling it in size. And then slide that in between portions 1 and 2. Like so. So then you've got three portions again. Then with portion 1, slide it in between portion 2 and 3. And then with your new portion 3, grab some more hair. Folding it in again into portions 1 and 2, like so. So it's folding portion 1 into the middle of portion 2. And then with portion 3, grabbing some more hair before folding it into 1 and 2 again. And then just keep going. So 1 into the middle of 2 and 3. With 3, grab some hair. Folding in between 1 and 2, like so. So with 1, folding into the middle of 2 and 3. With portion 3, grabbing some hair. Folding it in between portions 1 and 2. So portion 1, again in the middle. And then with portion 3, grabbing some hair. Folding it into the middle of 1 and 2. Then you basically stop wherever you want. I'm going to stop here, just sort of the edge of my brow like so. And then just clip it back with my clip. Or you can keep going with the braid all the way down your head, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to continue the braid down your hair. Basically repeating the same steps, folding portion 1 into the middle of portion 2 and 3 and then grabbing some hair with portion 3 before folding it back in between portions 1 and 2 like so. So portion 1 folding over grab some hair with portion 3 and then folding it in between portions 1 and 2 and then you keep going down like so. Once you get to the top of your ear you'll basically run out of hair to combine with portion 3 so then just keep plaiting as normal. So portion one in between, portion three in between, portion one, 
pushing three, pushing one, pushing three, pushing one, pushing three, pushing one. Until you get all the way down to the bottom of your hair and then you can just tie that up with just a thin sort of hair tie like so. And then you're done. So that's what it looks like up close. So I hope you guys enjoyed and found that easy to follow and I'll see you all soon. Bye.